Now, if you love your beef, you've got to get yourself up to Northern New South Wales Casino in particular, because this is one of Australia's great capitals of cattle and steak. And if you can, get here in the next few days, because they are smack bang in the middle of beef week. It is so much fun. Yeah, sure but to be honest, is. there is so much hard work and preparation that goes on behind the scenes, and we're going to discover firsthand. All right. How's she looking, Mum? Yeah, she's doing a good job. <laughs> and what about the cow? <laughs> oh, the cow looks fabulous as normal. Hello, Jane. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you for having us here today. No, you're more than welcome. Tell us about your property and tell us about your business. Um, so my husband and I are actually cow fitters. Yep. So what we do is take in other people's stud animals and we break them in for them to be shown as a as an advertisement on behalf of them. The part of Casino Beef Week is that people actually get to go out into the farms and see what actually happens, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, there's heaps of different programs that you can do. Like, we, we turn around and we've got the ball that comes up first and that opens everything up. And then there's obviously the parade that happens down the street where there's cattle judging and steer judging. Yeah, it's, it's a big, full week. But it's also a social connection, which is oh, a really fabulous yeah. thing and very important in rural areas. And that's it. And they've got the races here too, yeah. and um, that's a big social event. Is it hard to lead? Just make sure you don't get on a nose. All right, so I'm pulling only from this one, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. This, this awesome. is, so that there is your, is your wheel, and that's your brake. I got... <laughs> so if you start pulling up, you start pulling up. All right, no worries. Why don't we go for a walk? Come on. Can't be that hard. Oh, making friends here. I just went straight in a fresh yeah, one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, I don't know if she's uh, totally sold on me. I think she can still smell the steak from the other day. <laughs> Sean has had a cook beef, but he definitely can't walk him. No, I'm not doing very well here at all. We need Millie back. I need Millie back. Come Where on, Millie. She? Rescue us, Millie. All right, buddy. I tell you what, before... You uh, grab that. Before you feed us, how about we actually give this cattle a little bit of feed? I think that's exactly the right thing to do. All right, Ed, I was watching you when we were down there with the cattle and you were hilarious because I was... Anyone else was just looking at the cows, but you were looking at them going, which cut am I going to cook with? So what did you it decide? It seemed a little mean. <laughs> I, and you know what? There's actually a couple of them coming over to see what we're up Don't to. Don't do it. Go Run for your lives, direction. girls. <laughs> No, I want to show you a cut of steak that you don't normally get the opportunity to try. Okay. It's called a hanger steak. We'll come to that in a little minute. We're going to make a different kind of steak and chips. And first up, you're in charge of chips. A chips? Well, um, yeah, I've heard of chunky chips. This one's called a potato. <laughs> it's going to be yeah, real chunky. you're going to need to squint. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's really easy. It's, it's, it's ideal for when you're out and about, because we're just going to wrap some potatoes in foil. You've probably done this before. And you bury them in the coals of your fire. Yeah. But there's another kind of chip we're going to go for, some beetroot. We're going to wrap that and foil with some rosemary and butter and cook it at the same time. They both take about an hour. And I've got some bad news for you, Dale. What's that? Those girls weren't girls. Really? Oh, they're steers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good see them from that angle. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> now, it is really easy cooking, this. The only thing you've got to keep in mind is that when you put your beetroot and your potatoes into the fire, just make sure the seam of the foil is facing upwards so that they can cook evenly. Believe it or not, that's actually half the job done. <laughs> Look at your Easy little sweat up. <laughs> I'm not as fit as I used to be. <laughs> and listen, the next thing we do need to talk about is the steak. Now, yep. have you have you seen hanger steak before? No, I haven't. It's got loads of flavour. You need to cook it correctly or it will become tough. So I need to show you some great technique. First thing we need to do is grab, well, actually, you can do it, just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil yep. and then let it sit. OK, just on the steak? Meanwhile, you and I need to make a sauce together. All right. And it's really, really simple. This is a French classic. Coriander seeds, we're going to crack some of those. Meanwhile, can you pick some tarragon for us? Absolutely. Some lemon and garlic? Uh, yes, yeah, absolutely. So I'll need to give you a microplane. We need the zest of the lemon. OK. And the garlic to be really nice and finely minced. What I've got to do now is to chop this tarragon just as finely so it all mixes nicely. Now, 
How you going with the garlic there? Oh, done. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I've got the tarragon. Okay. Now, the only other thing we've got to put in there is a really generous amount of olive oil, and you almost can't go overboard with that. And then, salt, pepper. Now, while you're doing that, I better get on to the steak. The real secret to this is to cook it as quickly as possible. There we go. You notice I haven't seasoned it yet. That's OK. We actually put the salt on once it started cooking. And make sure you keep an eye on it. You do not want to overcook this best, if it's the way you like it, is medium rare going medium. So I reckon maybe eight minutes. Ed, that is looking amazing. It smells good too. Do you want to use the lemon juice since we've got them here? Now you can see juice starting to appear on the top. We've turned it plenty of times. So these are medium rare, so by the time they rest, they're going to be absolutely beautiful. Yum! Perfection. Now, Ed, I haven't got a utensil here, but I do have my fingers. I have to taste that extraordinary beef. It is pretty good, and you've got exactly the right utensils. Forks, they're for amateurs, mate, and we're professionals. Speaking of things professional and beef, Beef Week here in Casino is on right now. In fact, on for a few more days, so if you can get up here, come and check out amazing cattle. If you go really quickly, you can have some of this. <laughs> really quickly. <laughs>